welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Zara and I'm a registered nurse working in the UK. On this channel, you'll find me making a whole bunch of videos related to nursing life here in the UK. And in this video, I'm gonna be highlighting nursing essentials, things that you need and things that you uh, kinda don't need. Of course, these are things that are within my opinion. If you buy these items and you're like, actually, these work great for me, then that's fine, like, that's cool. Like, you do you. It's just my opinion and things that I have obviously bought myself and I use every day and the opposite things that I have bought and actually realized I don't actually use them as much as I thought I would or I don't use them at all. So let's get to it. Uniform essentials. Let's talk shoes. So you have two options. You have the classic soft beautiful shoes and then you have Crocs. Both are great. Now there is a distinction between the two. For the classic nursing shoe, you wanna get something that is comfortable and ideally has good soft padding on the inside. I recommend the Skechers brand. That is the brand that I've always used. It's great, but there's so many nursing shoes out there. You just gotta find one that is the right fit for you. You know, the classic Cinderella sort of thing. The shoe, the perfect shoe. Find the perfect shoe for you. Now I wanna talk about Crocs. Crocs are great. I actually made the switch from nursing shoes to Crocs and I was a lot happier. In areas such as theatres, recovery, high dependency unit or even ICU then I do recommend actually investing in a pair of crocs and in fact some areas only allow you to wear crocs within that unit so always double check. The great thing about crocs is it's made out of a material that's easily wipeable and it doesn't actually cause any damage to it and remember to always wipe your shoes after your shoe. So yes investing in a good pair of nursing shoes either nursing shoes or crocs. Leading on from shoes. Another essential is a shoe box. This was a tip that I in fact got from a theatre nurse who was also redeployed with me when I went to ICU. What you might find in the locker room is just shoes just piling up or tucked away under benches and that's also a very classic reason why shoes can go missing in the changing rooms or they get pinched by colleagues and so on. Get yourself a shoe box where you can put your nursing shoes in there and put your name on it. Tape it if you're feeling a bit like mm, I don't trust people here then do so but Yes, get a shoebox. The fob watch. Classic nursing icon. Your uniform is incomplete without one. In the UK, we have an infection control policy called bare below the elbows. That means we're not allowed to have anything on our arms below the elbow. That includes watches, that includes rolling up your sleeves. So when it comes to a watch, nurses will classically use a fob watch. And not only are we using a fob watch to tell the time, we're also using it as part of our important observations that we do with our patients. Whatever your preference is, digital or analog, ensure that you've got a fob watch that allows you to monitor the seconds because that's actually what you're using. So yes, get yourself a fob watch. Lanyard or badge reel. It is a requirement to show your badge ID whenever you are on shift or on your on placement. So you need to put something to showcase your ID. That can be either through a lanyard or through a badge reel. There is no rule. Pick one that you like and that can easily display your badge ID. All right, let's move on to bag essentials. First up, get a good bag. Rucksack, tote bag, whatever, whichever is your style, go for it. Invest in a good one that's gonna last you a long time and can hold all of your things. I'd say a good bag would be at least something that can hold at least a change of clothes in there. What's also an idea is if you have a locker room but you don't actually get given a locker, and this is quite common, especially if you're a student, then what might be an idea is actually getting a bag that can have a lock on there. If you're quite concerned about the safety of your personal belongings. Another bag essential is facial wipes. I am putting this as a necessity. One of the ickiest feelings, okay, is when you take off your mask and you have this sweat and all this gunk on your face. Just no. At the end of the shift, I got into a habit of actually using facial wipes to wipe down my face, my neck, my arms, just to freshen me up. Kind of like a post-shift cleanse. And it became a little bit like a self-care ritual. Taking those five minutes at the end of the shift just to reset, just to kind of wind down, just taking time out to just care for yourself, I think makes such a big difference. So I am putting this as a necessity. Grab your pack of facial wipes and just use it to freshen up post-shift. Not forget our water bottles. I have said this before and I'll 
I'll say it again. Nurses are notorious for not drinking enough water. So do yourself a favor, invest in a good quality water bottle. I personally prefer the stainless steel ones because that keeps my water quite cold and that's a really nice feeling when you're working and then you get to have like a cold drink. Again, it's personal preference, whatever water bottle it is, but do make sure you are staying hydrated whilst you're working. Buy yourself a fabulous water bottle, why not? Now let's talk about the things that you don't need. Okay, let me rephrase this. Things you might not necessarily need. Air quotes, necessarily need. A foldable clipboard. Now I've seen this on Pinterest quite a lot as a nursing essential where you have this clipboard that can fold away and then easily fits into your uniform pocket. And whilst they look functional, and I, I gotta admit, they do look pretty cool, it is not realistic. It's not realistic for a nursing student or for a registered nurse to be walking around with a clipboard in their hands. If you use a foldable clipboard and it works for you, then by all means go for it. So if that's something that perhaps is more done in the US or other parts of the world. But in the UK, uniform pockets and scrub pockets are just not big enough. So here's an alternative suggestion. What I would recommend is getting a small pocket-sized notebook that can easily fit into your uniform. These are quite inexpensive and I'm sure you can get them at any good stationery or department store. This will work a lot better than actually carrying a clipboard around with you and you can still make notes in the same way that you would stethoscope. I've had many students asking me if it's worth actually buying a stethoscope scope and simply put it depends if you are a nursing student then you don't need it and it's actually something that you can invest in at a later point when I was a student I only used a stethoscope once and we used to use stethoscopes to actually practice manual blood pressure readings when you are a qualified nurse however you might find that it might be worth investing in a stethoscope and here are some reasons why it will depend mainly on the area of specialty you work in and or the job role that you're working for example in areas such as cardiology or respiratory you may find nurses actually using stethoscopes on a regular basis because that forms an important part of their patient assessment. Another example is advanced nurse practitioners or clinical nurse specialists who need to use a stethoscope as part of their history taking. So I would say don't go out there rushing to buy a stethoscope. This is something that perhaps you can invest in at a later point. Another item is the BNF. Please do not make the mistake of buying your own BNF copy. I've seen so many students make this mistake where they actually go out there and purchase their own BNF copy. And whilst it's with good intention, the BNF is something that is constantly updated. And what might be a better use is actually downloading the app. The app has the exact same information as you would find in the book. And the book, in fact, is quite expensive as well. So yes, those are my nursing essentials of what you need and don't need when going out there into work or into placements. If you enjoyed this video, then do check out my other videos where I focus on nursing essentials and my favorites as well. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay updated on all the videos that I post. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and stay safe.